When I was working on my other channel, one way which I found was really good to get extra content is to repurpose certain sections of your videos that work well in isolation into YouTube Shorts or TikToks. Now, how are we gonna do this? We could just take the 16 by nine aspect ratio video and slap it onto a vertical template, but this would look pretty terrible and lead to a lot of wasted screen real estate. So it's what I'm gonna show you how to do today is to actually expand the map upwards so that we're utilizing all of the screen. Now as what I have here is a map comp for a previous video I did on the political landscape of Yemen. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click into the map comp. Okay, now we're gonna go composition, composition settings, and we want to basically swap these numbers around. So I'm gonna copy 2160, right, 3840 in there, and then, and then paste 2160 up there. So we see how this has been reconfigured. Now, we're gonna go back into the main composition, and we're gonna do the exact same thing over here. So we're gonna go composition, composition settings, Copy that, 3840, paste that there. Now one last thing which we're just gonna do quickly is we're gonna pop back into the main map comp and you see that there, that is the attribution. Now you can remove this, but you're not really supposed to. So is what we're gonna do is we're just gonna scroll, unshy the layers by doing that. We're gonna scroll down, take the attribution here, unlock it and just move it back into a sensible position there. Now, we're gonna go through uh, and we're into the main map comp now. Now is what we need to do is as you can see here, it has indeed expanded it upwards, but it's, uh, it's quite sort of close into the map. We don't really want it that far in. We want it sort of zoomed out so that you can see uh, all the animation that you've created earlier. Now, rather than individually changing all the keyframes is what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a bit of code so is what we're interested in is zoom. Zoom is basically how far uh, close we are into the map. So we're gonna click zoom, Ooh, excuse me. And then we're gonna go uh, edit expression. Now, so what we're gonna type in here is we're gonna type in offset amount, and then we're gonna go equal. And then we're gonna put in a value of about minus 0.5. Now you are gonna to have to play with this value yourself. You might need slightly less, you might need slightly more, but you can alter that later. And then on the line below, we're gonna type in value plus and then offset amount again. And then we're gonna click elsewhere outside of the box just to sort of leave uh, the code. So is what that'll do is that will basically take the pre-existing values for all of the uh, zoom keyframes and basically just knock off 0.5. So as you can see here, it's taken us out to a bit more of a comfortable zoom level. So we're just gonna hit finalize and that will just bring back in all the, all the um, imagery we need. Now, one other thing that we can do, when I adapt these animations for shorts, the purpose of it is time saving. So I don't wanna spend too long going in and reconfiguring all of the animations into a vertical format. But when you have sort of like a standalone asset, like for here, here for instance, I have this footage of the Houthi helicopter landing on a cargo ship. Things like this, we can just move up uh, to utilize some of that vertical space. Um, and this is just gonna make the video seem much more so like it is uh, purpose built for vertical video. Now there's a really another useful way that we can help find good positioning for all these assets, for which we're gonna have to go over to Premiere so now we're in Premiere, so we're gonna go new project. We're gonna come over here to project template, social media template, hit create. And it's gonna give us this project where within the project file, we're gonna basically have all these good um, TikTok and other social media safe zone templates. Basically just letting you know where you can put assets that's not gonna kind of interfere with the UI of the safe zone. So I've saved these down locally and you can too. So we're gonna go back over to After Effects and we're gonna take in your template, Control Alt F to scale up. Now when you do this in After Effects or Premiere in a, like a flipped 16 by nine aspect ratio, you're gonna see this full image, but there will be a small strip on the left and the right sides that are actually gonna be cropped off when you put it on social media. 
So you just need to be mindful both when you're positioning the assets, but when also when you're selecting that zoom in level, whether to do 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, that you're not having anything important within this purple band here as it's gonna be lost. So once we've uh, positioned all of our assets, we can go ahead and get rid of that and render it out. A few moments later. So now that we've rendered this out, we can take it over here and drop it into Premiere Pro. It is worth uh, putting some subtitles on because subtitles is very good for short form content because a lot of people sometimes watch it without headphones, for instance. So a good way to do that is we go workspaces, text-based editing. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna transcribe the track. So transcribe. You wanna read through all the text, make sure it makes uh, sense to yourself. Then go captions, create captions from transcript, create captions. And then it's worth just dropping that template on just to sort of make sure that the positioning of your captions uh, is one that doesn't interfere with the UI of the social media platform. So that's how you go about making an animation that you've made within GeoLayers into a vertical video format. If you've got any questions at all, just pop them in the description below. Thanks.